different chocolate for every day. So we're going to turn them into mochas and rank them. Today we're starting with milk chocolate. For this ranking system, we're keeping a consistent espresso recipe of 18 grams in to 36 milliliters of espresso out in around 28 seconds. Milk chocolate actually isn't typically used in mochas, as it would often be a darker chocolate to pair nicely with the espresso, so I'm quite excited to try this one out. You may have realized we're on day five, and that's because I got a little bit hungry the first four days of the month, but we're gonna go from here. Whilst we're steaming up the milk, the espresso should be melting down the chocolate quite nicely, but we're gonna give it a mix with the spoon to make sure it's fully incorporated. Once the chocolate is completely mixed in, we're just going for some nice latte out on top. In this case, I'm going for a tulip and I may or may not have overfilled it slightly. And this is the final result. We have a milk chocolate mocha, which is tasting very smooth, very balanced. However, I would like a little bit more chocolatiness from my mochas, so we're gonna go with seven out of 10.